ለመማር ወደ ትምርት ተቋም መሄድ ግድ አይደለም ናሽናል አቪሽን ኮሌጅ ራሳችሁን ከኮሮና ቫይረስ ወረርሽኝ የጠበቃችሁ በቤታችሁ ወይም በተመቻችሁ ቦታ በኢንተርኔት አማካኝነት በኦንላይን ትምርታችሁን መከታተል ትችላላችሁ ካናዳ ከሚገኘው ኢንተርናሽናል ኤር ትራንስፖርት አሶሲዬሽን አያታና ከእንግሊዙ ኢኒሲቲት ኦፍ ኮመርሻል ማኔጅመንት አይሲኤም ጋር በመተባበር የሚሰጡ ትምርቶችን ተከታተላችሁ በስድስት ወር ጊዜ በአለም አቀፍ ደረጃ ተቀባይነት ያለውን የስልጣና ማስረጃ ባለቤት መሆን ይቻላል ልምድ ባላችሁ መምህራን እየተማራ ጥያቄና መልስ የክፍል ስራዎች ፈተና መፈተን ክፍል ውስጥ እንዳላችሁት አይነት በኦንላይን ባላችሁበት ቦታ ከናሽናል አቪሽን ኮሌጅ የናሽናል ኤርዌይስ እህት ኩባንያ I'll just go straight to what we are supposed to discuss today. I know last week we covered a bit of intro, uh, the other week we looked at introduction. I think this was our last slide. I'm just trying to to show it to you. Check your screen I'm sharing. I think this is the last thing that we looked at. Unless somebody has a question. This is the last thing that we we looked at. You remember identify the individuals who may be considered great leaders in Ethiopia and what is it that makes them great i think this is what we discuss and so i want us to look at the next topic which is a uh, a continuation of where we were which was uh, week 1 and i want to look at uh, continuation which is strategic leadership behavior and uh, what i want us to look at here is uh, what do leaders do and i want to be sharing that right now is our next that we are going to be looking at i'm just about to share it immediately okay i'm seeing somebody biru admit so this is what we are going to be looking at today i'm going to cover a few slides on this I hope we can all see. So I want us to continue from where we left on strategic leadership behavior and uh what I want us to look at today is basically look at what we call the behavioral approach to leadership. Behavioral approach to leadership. And uh what we are asking here is what do leaders do? Okay? What do leaders do? And that is what we are calling the behavioral approach. If you remember last time when we discussed in class we said that uh, leaders have something what we call the right stuff you remember something like that we said they are born with something the right stuff and this yeah. is the right thing that makes them to do what they are supposed to do or what is it that makes them become a leader we saw there is something so today we want to look at what then are these behaviors what do leaders do to make themselves effective leaders and i'll be looking at a few concepts and the first one that i want us to look at um is what we call the participative versus autocratic leadership behavior that's the first one participative versus autocratic and we are going to be doing a small activity once i'm done with this so kindly concentrate now when we talk of participative we are saying you are a member of you are participating you are engaged so we also call participative as democratic democratic what do i mean here the leader permits the subordinates to take part in the decision making so we are saying the leader does not sit alone to make the decision but the leader allows the subordinate or the staff to also come up on board to make key decision so they welcome suggestion they want to hear feedback if we want to paint for example an office space uh, a participative leader will try to ask them which type of colors can we adopt so this style of encourages staff participation and improves what we call staff morale the staff are more motivated they are happy but it can be time consuming considering you have to take care of everybody's interest so the first style is what you call the participative 
or democratic leadership behavior. Behavior that a leader adopts in order to be able to work with their uh, East people. Now, the second one is the autocratic, autocratic, and I hope we are all together. In case of anything, please raise your hand. Autocratic leadership style. Now, this is a style of leadership in which the leader makes all the decision unilaterally. What do I mean by this? Here we are saying the leader makes the decision alone, alone. So here they are trying, what we are basically saying is that he might not have the trust and confidence in their subordinate because he's the only one that is involved in the decision-making process. The beauty with this as compared to the first one, which is participative, is that the leader will make quick decisions and work is done on time as compared to the first one, because the first one you keep on inquiring what should be done. However, in autocratic, it will demotivate the employee because you see my decisions are not considered. So this really demotivates the employees at the end of the day, but the decisions will be made very quickly at the end of the day. So those are the two styles that we have there. I talked of the participative versus the autocratic participative as the autocratic leadership. Now, the, la the third one is what we call those French-speaking laissez-faire or free reign, laissez-faire or free reign. Now, this is from uh, those who speak French. Uh, many students tend to, when I'm teaching this, they tend to confuse and think that uh, we are saying you do what you want to do. No, 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 free reign. I know it might sound free. You're doing whatever you want. Nobody's controlling you. But this type of uh, leader allows total freedom to his subordinates. Freedom. What do I mean here? He leaves the subordinates to freely set the objectives. Today, when I get to the office, this is what I'm going to do. Okay. So they set their own objectives and the work procedures. Now, there are certain roles or jobs that require you adopt the laser sphere. I'll give an example. For example, if you're looking at uh, talent, people in case of managers who try to develop the skills and talents of workers, like creative designers or painters or graphic designers, for this kind of a person, you have to set them free to be able to have the objectives and the work procedures. You cannot tell them paint that wall green and put a photo of so-and-so. They have to think through it. So certain procedures or certain um, roles require we adopt the laissez fair style. So in this case is that you are allowing them total freedom uh, to be able to make decisions on what it is that you want. So this type of leader allows total freedom as compared to the first and the second one. Now, when we go further, I hope you can see what I've projected there. In this, because we are going to have a small activity after this, if you look at the leadership styles here, what we have done, the blue part, let me highlight it so that you see, the blue part show where power is, where power is, you see? So the first one we talked of, the autocratic leadership, the leader is the one with the power. You can see there. The second one, we talked of participative. We are saying the leader and the employees are working together. So both of them are involved. And the free reign, which is the laser sphere, we have the employees here. So that is the main difference that we have with uh, the three leadership styles and where the emphasis is. That's why I've used the blue color to denote or to denote where the, the leader's power authority is as can be seen in the autocratic. So any question up to there before I give you, let me stop sharing on the three, first of all, that we have looked at the uh, laissez sphere, the authoritarian, the democratic leadership style. Question, comments, anybody who wants to? Somebody is, I think is it, uh, somebody is getting in and out. I'm trying to get them back. No, okay. Sir. Yes, please, Ayala. Which, which type of leadership is uh, 
effective in a business operation? Good question. Good question, Ayela. What kind of business uh, operation? Is it insurance? Is it banking? Maybe you can give us more details and then we throw it to the group. For a manufacturing uh, op uh, operation, for a manufacturing industry. Good. Now, members, I want us to discuss this a bit. Is there one more, one effective leadership style that can be adopted in one organization? Let me hear members' reaction. Mamo, Bekal, let me hear. Do you think there is one style that fits all? Maybe from my screen on top, it's Mamo there, yes? I don't think so. That's, there is a clear cut in one and only the most for every organization, I think. Okay. It, 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 it depends according to the structure of the organization and the aim that the organization has set before. Okay. Bekal, I can see you there, but today you are driving or you are heading home? Let me unmute you. Can you speak or? I can speak. Okay, please proceed. Yes. Do you think there is one style, and that is what Ayela is asking, which is the best leadership style for manufacturing firm? That is a question I want us to discuss first before I give my answer. Uh, I work in a bank. I always try to be democrat uh, and participatory with our staff. Most of the time, we practice such a kind of leadership style. Uh, that's my answer. Okay. Now, Ayala, what I want to say is this. Different situations call for different leadership styles. And I'll give a good example. Let's say in the manufacturing company that you, you're talking about, there is fire. Or there is incidence of corona, like what is happening, COVID-19 right now. Will I sit and start asking my staff, which door are you going to use to run away from fire? Are you getting my point? Mm -hmm. yes, so yes. Yeah, different situations we call for different leadership styles. In such a case, as a manager, I'll be authoritative. I'll say, use the fire exit that is next to you in case there is fire. Are you getting it? But there are yes. certain situations, there are certain situations that allow me to engage more people participating. For example, let's say we want to do an end of year party for the manufacturing company that we work in. So I'll be asking people, do you want to do the party in Ethiopia? Do you want to do it in uh, Debrezeit? Or do you want to do it? That is a more of a participative approach because I want to get people's views. So there are certain situations, depending with the situation, a manager will be able to use authoritative, participative, or laissez sphere. Ayala, is it well answered? Yes, doctor. Thank you, thank you. Now, very quickly, unless there's any other question. Um, okay, we are admitting Viru again back. So unless there's any question, so look at the situation in the organization and uh, agree which is the best style that you are able to adopt at the end of the day. Now, I want us to move to the next slide. And here, uh, I want us to, let me share. I remember I've been talking about this poll, poll, poll. There's a poll that you're supposed to do as, as Biru is getting in. This poll, I've always wanted to do it with you and uh, all the time we have not managed. So I want us to do this. And this is going to tell us what is your leadership style? What is your leadership style? So I want us to, I hope we can all be able to see our machine. And I want to open the polls now. I want to open, there is something on Zoom we call poll sharing. And I want you to take the poll, okay? So I'm launching it on your screen now. Read the question and answer, and then we are going to discuss them. Okay, can you see on your screen? Yes. Yes. Please? Yes. yes. Okay, so just go and read the question and tick, tick on top there. You are going to see. As we are waiting for Biru Abera to join, I'm seeing he's still joining. I think it's the network. So just go through the, the question. I think there are only eight questions. 
and then you can tick, read the question, tick, and then I'm going to share with you the polls, and then we just discuss. It's something on your leadership style. It is titled Determining Your Leadership Style. So please proceed. We are going to give ourselves a few minutes. In case of any question, ask me. I'm here. So basically the questions are trying to assess in case you are a manager and you're faced by a certain situation, what, which style would you adopt? That it's basically leaking up what we have covered right now. And then we are going to analyze the results and see, and see how or which style would work best for us. So feel free to, to look at it. There are only a few questions. Respond by marking. And then after that, we are going to analyze and see the results. Let me know if you're done so that we can continue. But there are eight questions. Try to answer all of them. But I cannot get uh, number five, six. You can't see it? I can't make it. I cannot make next. You cannot do what? Uh, I cannot get the question five, six. Okay, uh, now, number five, as a chair of the social committee, you're responsible for determining the theme and venue of the company end of year party. How do you do so? Uh -huh. Tick one, whichever, which among them. Ask the members of the group to decide or you make the decision yourself. Basically, as a chair of the social committee, we are saying this is a social welfare you are supposed to determine the theme. The theme can be a color theme or it can be the food theme or something like that. Is it clear? For end of year party. So how would you do it? Is it clear? Yes. Okay. Anybody else with a question? Or should we go through one by one as you answer? Is it easier that way? Yeah. Okay, so I'll, okay, just a minute. So I'll ask one person to read for us. I'm sure all of us are there. So just a minute. Okay, I want the participants. So who read for us the first one? We are still, okay, Biru, let me admit Biru. Biru is leaving and coming back or it's a network. So we can start with Mamo. Mamo, you're there, I can see you. So can we go to the first one? Read for us the question. Yes, yes. first question says, in the face of financial pressure, you are forced to make budget cuts for your unit. Where do you cut is the question. Okay, so maybe you can take us through the question. What do you think it means uh, what, to make everybody understand? Explain the question to the members. All right. In in a, in a in a case of time running time, in a shortage mm -hmm. of time, there is a financial pressure that mm -hmm. needs priority to be decided for a budget cut. Okay. So in, this, in such a case of urgency, mm -hmm. which option or which solution shall we follow? Is the question I think. Okay. So can we have everybody answer that one? Will you ask the members of the group to decide themselves what to do? Are you going to ask the members of the group what to do, but you finally make the decision? Are you going to make the decision yourself, but explain your reasons, you know? And you see, this is financial pressures. You're forced to make budgets. Like now the country, I'm sure even Ethiopia, people are doing budget cuts, including our own university. We have a lot of budget cuts, okay? Yeah. So how would you, I'm sure even in the banking sector, you're doing that. There are so many things you're not buying. So. How do you make that decision? Do you involve everybody? Do you sit as a manager and decide this is what I'm going to cut or what are you going to do? So can you tick the one that you feel is appropriate for you? And then we are going to discuss them afterwards. Question number two, Bekal. Question number two. Mm -hmm. I will participate the fellows, the followers. 
then I would decide. Sorry, read the question first so that people can understand the question to meet. Okay. I think he's driving still. Oh, he's driving. Okay, okay. Oh, to he me, he couldn't read. I think so. It's... Okay, please read for him so that he can, and then he can advise us. Okay, question number two says. Ah, to me, I can't to me, read. Question number two. Yes, two. Hello, Bakal. May I help you in reading, please? Yeah. Whether you shall better park and follow us. The question number okay. two says: To meet an impending deadline. Someone in your secretarial pool will have to work late on evening to finish typing an important report, which may be submitted the next morning, right? Yes. It says who, who is going to be uh, um, someone who is uh, to be assigned to working in the evening? Yes. Just taking some, some sort of burden just to stay at uh, office in the evening, it means. To work late, yeah? To work late. Yeah, work late, work late. Okay, so can you, so which one? Can you, I'm only getting one person who has taken the, the poll because I can get answers on my end. You need to go, you need to put the comments so that I'm able to get from my end and then I'll show you the results. Okay. So do you, do you let the members of the group decide themselves who is going to be left behind? Are you going to ask the members of the group what to do, but make the final decision? Are you going to make the decision yourself, but explain the reasons? Or you make the decision yourself telling the group exactly what to do? This is the person that I want to be left behind. That is the question. So let's, let's feel free. There is no wrong right answer. The key thing is I want to show you the various styles that are going to come out as we continue with the same. And then question three, Question three, uh, let me check who are the other participants who are with us. Ayala, are you with us or you left us? No, I Ayala? am with you, but the question are not in my screen. I already ticked all and submitted, but yes. now I can't read in my screen. Oh, you can't see them? Yeah. Why, why, and I've not closed the poll yet. Okay, so, so question. I took to all the, six, the eight questions and I submitted to you. That oh, might be the case. Oh, you you clicked submit, yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah. I skipped already. Mama, are you still submitting? Shall I read? Shall I continue reading? Yeah. Yes, read, Mama, because you're the only one who can see. Yes, three question, yeah, question three. Question three says, as a coach of a company for a football team. You are required to trim your squad to 25 players from 30 currently on the roster. Who is going to be uh -huh. the one who is, who is to be at the bench, I think. Okay, so you're supposed to trim your coach, your, your group from to 25. So it means you're going to do away with five people. How yeah, are you? Yes, cutting five people. What decision or what style are you going to use? Are you going to involve other people? Are you going to, you see, I want to hear the answer. So please tick, tick on that also. Proceed, Amamo, number four. Number four says, employees in your department have to schedule their summer vacation to keep the office appropriately staffed. Who decides first is the question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who decides first? That's a good one. Also, please tick. Most of the answers will still be the same because we are we are asking one, you let the members of the group decide. Number two, we are saying ask the members of the group what to do. So you see, you're involving other people, or three, make the decision yourself. Question number five. Five, five. Five num question number five. As chair of the social committee. You are responsible for determining the team and venue for the company end of the year party. Mm -hmm. How do you do so? Is a question. Okay. So I think this I try to explain. I try to explain. You're choosing the theme and venue yeah. for the company. Yes. How do you do that? Also, let's hear. And then number six. Number six is you have an opportunity to buy or rent an important piece of equipment for your company. After guys hearing all the facts, how do you make the choice among mm -hmm. those opportunities? 
Okay, yes. The opportunity to buy? Or to rent from. Good, I think yes. it depends on the cost benefit analysis in between the okay. renting and the buying of the equipment. Okay, but just tick, just tick. We are going to see the poll at the end of it all. And then number seven? The office is being redecorated. How do you decide on the color scheme? Okay, I think that one we had also talked about it. Yeah, color choice. Okay, and then the last one? Number eight, along with your colleague, you are taking a visiting dignitary to dinner. How do you decide what restaurant to go? Okay. So I hope as everybody filled, because I want to end the poll now. Well, shall I submit? Uh, to yeah, everything? submit, submit. Yes, 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 submit. Everybody click, 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 submit. And I'm going to share the results with you. Can you see the results on your screen? Yes. Good. So I'm sharing the poll results. These are the ones. Of course, if we were many, we would be having more answers. So in the right. first one, you can see in the face of financial pressures, you're forced to make budget cuts. Most of the members say they would ask the members of the group what to do, but make the final decision. All the three, the three ones are there, which gives me 100%. That is what you're saying. Uh, you took number two which is participatory. So in this call, many of you marked B, which shows that you'd engage in participatory kind of approach, okay? Oh. But later, yeah, you are involving the people so that you can see what to do. Now, to meet an impending deadline, someone in the secretary who was to be left or to do the report, I don't know that somebody is joining in the group, just a minute. Um, here, many gave different findings, as you can see. You can look at the group there, you can see many are saying, they would ask the members of the group what to do, but make the final decision, which you have said is participating, but you can make the decision yourself, but explain your reasons. This, we call it selling, selling your score. Why? You're trying to sell your idea. It's a way of selling your idea to the other members. Because you see, you're saying make the decision yourself, but explain your reason. So anybody who's called on number C, we call it the selling score because you're trying to sell your ideas to other people so that they buy them out. So we had two interesting answers there, the participatory one, and uh, of course the aspect of trying to sell your idea. Notice the first one, nobody clicked on it. Delegation, nobody chose delegation. And even the last one, nobody chose. Now, let me scroll down. As a coach, let me see what you gave there. As a coach of a company football, you are required to trim your squad. Interesting answers. Look at what you go, gave there. Interesting. Different. Different, all of you. Can you see there? So it means you are yeah. adopting, as a way of trimming the five members, some of you will adopt the participatory. Some of you will sell your ideas to other people. And number three is what you say you're telling. Make the decision yourself, telling the group exactly what to do. So you're basically telling them what they are supposed to do, but nobody chose the first one, which is delegation. Very interesting question number three there. I wish you were more students would be able to see the variation in the answers. And then number four, employees in your department to schedule their summer vacations. Also interesting, we got two responses there with majority asking the members. You're basically letting them participate. So I'm seeing a lot of participatory involvement in this class. And then as a chair of the social committee, also participatory. Can you see there? Ask mm. members, participatory. And then uh, number six, quite interesting. You have an opportunity to buy or rent an important piece yep. of equipment. <laughs> Very interesting. Yep. After gathering all the facts, how do you make the choices? Here, it cut across the tree. Some of you would delegate, yeah. some of you would participate, others would sell out your ideas, which is quite Definitely interesting, also number six. Yeah. And then seven, also similar like number, the one we have seen, majority of you are still on number two, yeah. which is participatory. And also number eight, majority of you are participatory. You can see. So it basically, it tells me that, uh, so stop sharing the results. And this poll, I can always relaunch it. 
if I want, I can always relaunch it again. You can be able to see it from your from your screens again, or if you have another group, yeah. I can be able to. Yes. Yes, please. Question. Sorry. No, no, I look to see there is a pocket. Okay, yes, network. There is a power cut, no one is just. All this power cut in uh, Ethiopia. It's okay, network, no problem. Yeah, power Can the cut. Can others hear me? At, in my room, I think. Everybody's, everybody's place or? No, not everybody's, uh, in some areas, selectively. Oh, selected areas. Yeah. Okay, so do we continue? Yes, we can. Okay, okay, good. So you can see what happens when you do, majority of you are adopting what we call the participatory leadership style. That is the one that I can pick from your class. You want to involve other people as you make the decision, the final decision. Now, let me show you, you can also go to, to the internet. Please look at this link. I'll also share this with you. Look at this link. This link takes you straight to another to another one you can also take. I'm trying to circle it here. If you type this hpsww.goskills or you click on it, it takes you to what we call leadership style quiz. It also helps you to know what is your leadership style. You can also do it. Let me see whether I have it online on my on on my computer so that I can share it with you. Please take time, some time today and do that leadership uh, style to be able to tell you what kind of leadership style do you adopt. Just a minute. I'm trying to get it. I think I'd opened it on Google. Okay, yes. So when you come to... I'm trying to share the screen. Let me see whether I'll get it. Share screen. Go to, I hope everybody can see this. But I'm hurt. Kaffablo Mabrar Yichalal. National Aviation College. Yen National Airways Sahit Kubaniya. Kakafta Nyat Murtagbab Nat Nat Rat Agency. Muluk Nanabagin Yenabacho. The Master's Degree. MBA ba strategic management MBA ba banking na finance MBA ba business leadership MBA ba risk na insurance MSc ba international trade na economics zarfoch ba uqat lemaqrats yebequ professorochachin arangwade mabratachon abrtawal benegarachin lay ba kenya hager kemigenyu simeter universityoch bemimetu professoroch yetukret mesk timirtochu mesetatacho liyu yadergenal بمرت يتمرت سرعات يتغنباو ناشنال افيشن كوليج بمجمرا ديگري بافيشن مانجمنت بهوتيل مانجمنت باكاونتينج نا فاينانس بماركتينج مانجمنت استما ماين تمرت يگبيونا راسوننا هاگرون يلوطو ادراشا 22 ادباباي ودشولا بميوسدو منگلاي ناشنال افيشن كوليج ي ناشنال ايرويز سهت كوبانيا هلمون اون يادرگال جو تو ديز لينك ليت مي تراي تو ريموف ديز And you can do it even from your own house. Go skills, this I've circled here. Quiz. Go skills.com, stroke soft skills article. I will share this with you. When you go there and scroll, you'll go and find this page. This page. I hope you can see my screen my screen. What the question it's asking. Can you see my screen? Are we together? Yeah. Yes, so yes, you doctor, yes, look at this. This is the quiz I want you to take also on your own. What does your leadership style say about you? And when you open the screen, it is going, it's called the leadership style. Okay, it's called the leadership style quiz. I want you to take that quiz. I think it's also seven questions, almost similar to what we have done, but here. It is asking you something interesting. Look at it. What, who do you most admire? They have given various uh, leaders there who you think you admire. Michelle Obama, Mahatma Gandhi, Steve Jobs, and all the others. So you scroll and say, for example, you click Michelle Obama. It takes you to the next question. And the next question comes to 
you are most likely to say you go through each one of them up to the end and then it's going to ask for your email address and gives you feedback as you answer as you answer through it is going to give you the leadership style it may tell you you are a pace setter like nelson mandela it's going to tell you you are a commander okay are you like steve jobs the visionary so please this is on your you can get it from your website just go to google and type this i've tried to circle for you to be able to see go skills leadership and then fill the steps that i've given you there and you'll be able to to see what leadership style you also have all this is just to help you understand what is the leadership style that you adopt within the organization okay so any question up to there I want to do so. I've done the polling. We have done the polling, and we have done the. Sorry, let me share. So we have done the polling. I'm trying to lift this up. And we, and we have done this. The leadership style quiz. This is going to be on Sorry. Yes, sorry. Any comment, question? I can't hear. Bekal, you're saying something? I think but yes. Are we together? Yes, doctor, we are together. Good, okay. So then let me do the last thing that I wanted to do. So mm. please, when, you, when you're free at home, try to do the leadership style quiz that I've showed you there. I'll send you the slides also so that you get the link. And then from there, you'll be able to understand what is your style of leadership that you're able to adopt. So lastly, I say today we are not doing a lot. Uh, I want to share the slides. Sorry, I want to share the slides with you so that you're able to see. So lastly, I want us to discuss the, of course we have done that. I want us to look at what we call the autocratic delegation continuum model, okay? Autocratic delegation continuum model. Now, as you can see, we are linking autocratic and I think we said, what is autocratic leadership style? So in this case, this is an approach to leadership which describes ways in which leaders allocate influence to subordinates. So as a leader, how am I able to allocate some level of influence to my people? This is through delegation and it's like a continuum. You're going to see it, it's a continuum. Now look at the continuum that is there. In this, it's like a line it's like a line starting from one side all the way to the other side. Now look at this. This side, we have what we call the autocratic decision. On this side, we have what we call the delegation. So this is a leader who tries to delegate or allow his uh, team members to be, more, to be more engaged. This one, the leader is not influenced by others. Those are the two extremes. No wonder it's called a continuum model but not in the middle. Let me try to change the color, not the middle. There is some level of consultation. So this is an autocratic <laughs> delegation continuum model. An autocratic who does not want to delegate to the people, a delegation, a person who allows people to be more participative. So there's more participative, less participative. And in the middle is where we have what we call the consultation and joint decision making. So using the autocratic leadership style, and the authoritative, you can also uh, develop what you call the autocratic delegation continuum model, which shows the extremes between the two, the less participative and the more participative. But in the middle, we can get uh, something in the, uh, in the middle, yes, optimum in the middle. <coughs> now, the next one that I, the last one is that, uh, sorry, now I have to stop sharing so that I remove all those circles that I had shown there. Now, with this model, as you can see, uh, the two-dimension model to subordinate is basically an approach to leadership that tries to show some level of influence, okay? 
and it tries to distinguish between leaders in terms of being directive and perm permissive. Are you participative or are you autocratic at the end of the day? So that is the main reason we use that. And then lastly, if you look at what I've shown there, also another table that I've shown, we are calling it the two-dimensional model of subordinate participation. Subordinate, these are staff now. How do the staff participate? Now, leaders can be described as having different styles based on how they involve their subordinates. How do I, the people below me, how do I involve them? Especially in making the decisions to do their jobs. Here we can get four distinct styles from this table. Note, this is the subordinate, subordinate participation. How can we involve the people at the lower level to do their job? Now we ask ourselves questions. Are subordinates permitted to participate in making decisions? So we get the first style, yes. Okay, not have circle it, yes. So this gives us what we call the democratic leadership style. Are subordinates permitted to make decisions? No. So this gives us a second, we call it the autocratic leadership style. Now we come next and ask, are subordinates told exactly how to do their job? Basically, when we say told exactly what to do, if there is assignment to be done, they are supposed to do it. So you say, yes, they are supposed to do it. So that is what we call directive. You are directing them what to do, okay? But we say, no, they are not told what to do. So this is what we call permissive. So, permissive. Are you seeing that? So we yep. can pick four distinct leadership styles from this model. Just asking a question, how are subordinates supposed to participate? Are they supposed to participate in making decisions? Yes, democratic, no, autocratic. Now from here, let me change the color so that you're able to see. From here now, we can say if it is yes, democratic and yes, directive, we have what we call directive democratic. And these are, they make decisions participatively but closely. Uh, supervises the subordinates. If it is no, and no, we are saying this is permissive autocratic, and I'm using the keywords that we use. So try to, or permissive democratic, depending with whether it is yes or whether it is no. So try also to study this. I'm going to share it on your emails uh, to look at the two dimensional model of subordinate participation because. We are saying yes, leaders need to engage their money, uh, leaders need to engage their staff. But at what level? Can they make their own decisions on their own or are they not allowed? What style of leadership are we able to pick? And as you can see, this is not mine, this is a source based on uh, this. You can read this more for more details, you can read the documents that I've attached below. So, any question on the leadership styles that we have discussed today? Any question on the leadership styles that we have discussed today? I think for today we'll end on that. Of course, when I come, uh, when we next on Thursday, we look at the personal oriented versus production oriented type of leaders. We are going to see this type of leaders. So, any question, any clarifications? And of course, we are going to have more group activities as we proceed on. Any question? I think I'll take from top Mamo as we go all the way. Question, <coughs> question comment. Now, as we start, um, I'll also start giving uh, what you call group activities, assignments starting on Thursday. Small activities basically to you go and research on and then during the class, you come and do a presentation to us. As you can see the way I'm doing it, uh, you can share yes. your screen to us, yes. So I was just starting so that you're able to see. So by Thursday, by Thursday, tomorrow I'll send you some, everybody one, one, one assignment, just a, a small activity that you can try and research on and then do a small presentation to us. So everybody, I'll give them like 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes to present to us during the class. As you present, we are also commenting and giving comments. This is one way of helping you also develop your uh, presentation skills and also your leadership, because I'm not in person in class with you there, but we can be able to nurture each other
to be able to grow. So tomorrow I'll send in the group uh, some small activities for everybody. Uh, if possible, Thursday, it's not anything difficult. There are small questions. On Thursday, come prepared. As I teach the second part, we are going to take 10, 10, 10 minutes for everybody to do their presentation. Any other question? Okay. Okay. Thank so you. thank you so much. Have a good evening. Let's see each other on Thursday. Good. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.